of fifth grade. We're back again with the second half of your quiz review. Now I'm on page 205. On 205, you are going to do the even problems, even problems only. So in the first part, you're finding the reciprocal. It says 14 times n equals 1. So you have to find the reciprocal of 14 because remember, reciprocals are numbers that I can multiply by each other to get one whole. Okay, so remember 19 says 14 times n equals 1. Times n equals 1. So I know that the reciprocal of a whole number is a unit fraction because 14, I can write as 14 over 1 times 1 14th. So 14 times 1 equals 14. 1 times 14 is 14, so that equals 1. So n equals 1 14th. Okay, and let's see, let me do number 25. 25 says 4 fifths times n equals 1. Well, n would equal 5 fourths. Because remember, if I multiply 4 fifths times 5 fourths, 4 times 5 is 20, 5 times 4 is 20, which equals 1. Okay, and the next part is dividing. Okay, so let me look at number 29. 29 says 7 divided by 1 third. Okay, remember that when you divide a whole number by unit fraction, you really just multiply your whole number times your denominator, which would equal 21. Remember, when you're dividing by a unit fraction, you're going to get a whole number. If it's a whole number divided by a unit fraction. Now you could use the standard algorithm with unit fractions also. 7 over 1 times the reciprocal of your divisor and you still get 21. Okay, so that's by unit fraction. But now let's look at number 35. Number 35. I'm doing some of the odd problems because you're going to be doing the evens. 9 divided by 3 fourths. Okay. Remember that the first step is to rename your dividend, your whole number, as a fraction. 9 over 1 multiplied times the reciprocal of the divisor, times 4 thirds. Okay, let's simplify. 3 goes into 3 once and into 9 3 times. Then we get 12 over 1, which equals 12. When you divide a whole number by a fraction, sometimes you're going to get a whole number, sometimes you're going to get a mixed number. Okay, let's look at number. 41. 41 says 3 divided by 6 elevenths. So, whoops, 6 elevenths, not 6 tenths. Okay, so we're going to do 3 over 1. We rename our whole number as a fraction times the reciprocal of the divisor. I can simplify. 3 divided by 3 is 1. 6 divided by 3 is 2. When they multiply, I get 11 halves. And don't forget to change your improper fraction to a next number. 2 goes into 11 five times with one left over. 5 and 1 half. Okay, and then on the word problems. All right, let's do number, I'll do one of the even ones with you. Number 48. It says, Emily runs laps around a building. Each lap is two-fifths of a mile. How many laps must Emily run in order to run one mile? So we're asked, trying to figure out how many two-fifths sections are there in one. So one whole divided by two fifths is what we need to do. So remember that will be one over one times five halves, which will equal five halves, which equals two and one half. So Emily must run two and one half laps in order to run a mile. All right, so you go ahead and do the number 50 on the word problem. And you have to do the evens on page 205, and our quiz will be on Tuesday.